you have the first ever gold medal from windsurfing. Yeah. So you've seen a sport evolve over the years. Uh, what do you think? The atmosphere is great to start off with, uh, but uh, also to see this class developing again, uh, it really brings back the early 80s feeling. Uh, we, we really did put windsurfing on the map in the early 80s, and by, by being by the Olympics in 84, and also uh, uh, especially in Holland to bring back the gold. And, and now Dorian did, did bring back the last one uh, so far, but uh, this kids uh, will have a future because they're still really young. <laughs> some stage of your career you were also uh, training or sailing on techno but it was a different techno what do you think about the new one i think the new techno looks really good it's a, it's an ideal board for the kids i mean it's a, it's it's capable of sailing in the light winds but also fun to sail on the breeze so i think it's a good board yes it's amazing to see these little kids full power racing when i was racing it was good but not not on the international level like this i mean seeing looking here and seeing over 300 kids competing is just unbelievable you are the president of the sport. Uh, what do you think about the future? Are you worried about the future? Yes, for sure. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit worried about the future, but seeing all these kids over here, it just makes me feel comfortable and uh, see, yeah, shows me that there's no worry for windsurfing. We will stay alive with these kids. <laughs> We were hoping that you're going to be racing here as well on uh, in the raceboard class. Yes, I, I definitely saw the opportunity, but also I knew from the right from the beginning that it's going to be a really busy month. This means my shop have to uh, to run. I have to run the business. Uh, I went to London for a couple of days to join there the Olympics because they were close by. It was a great opportunity for myself to be there also. Yeah, unfortunately, no time. Too busy. Well, uh, hopefully we're going to see you on some other raceboard regattas uh, in the future. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, because um, raceboard was my thing, so uh, actually I should be here on the field a bit. Uh, I'm ashamed. <laughs>